a mattress that claims to give you your coolest sleep and maximum support. Sounds too good to be true. So let's see if the dream cloud here lives up to its name. I'm Lauren, editor and certified sleep science coach here at Mattress Nerd. I've tested and reviewed hundreds of mattresses and Dream Cloud sent us this for free so we can test it out and add it to the list. Now we're here in the Nerd Lab to run this bed through a series of easy tests. I'll give you my thoughts on performance and of course, give you my pro con list. Now, if you don't have time for all of that, we do have these timestamps down below to help you find what you're looking for, but hit that subscribe button and let's get started. For the mattress overview, I'm gonna fire off some quick hits regarding the Dream Cloud so you know exactly what to expect should you decide to buy. Now, Dream Cloud has three mattresses the OG, the Premier, and the Premier Rest. But in this video, we're talking about the OG, the Dream Cloud, the hybrid bed that started it all. Now, this mattress ships for free in a box to your door, and you have a full year to try it out before you make a full decision. So, during this time frame, you can sleep on it like normal, except if you don't like it, you can return it for a full refund. But but if you do like it, you can enjoy Dream Cloud's lifetime warranty. Now, if you want to know more about either policy in depth, you can check out our written review in the description. But if you came here for the details, stay tuned. We're going to get into it. I don't know if you guys know this, but a cousin of construction is destruction. So I tore into the Dream Cloud mattress to get a good look at the layers and see how they perform. But of course, you don't wanna try this at home because it will void your warranty. Now let's start with the cover. It is made of cashmere and it is just as soft and luxurious as it sounds. I'm just saying, I understand why people wear sweaters made of the stuff. Now this cover is also quilted, which adds a nice cushioning sensation on the top of the mattress. And then we move into the first comfort layer, which is gel infused foam. So this is supposed to help relieve pressure and also add a nice cooling sensation. Now right here, this layer is to help you stay elevated on the mattress so you don't sink too deep. And here is a transition layer to act as a nice transition between the foam and the coils. And now the coils are our primary support layer. They are pocketed instead of interconnected, which offers better motion isolation. They're breathable if you're a hot sleeper and they add durability to your bed. At Mattress Nerd, we like to rate firmness on a scale of one to 10, where one is softer than well, a cloud. And the Dream Cloud is a 6.5 out of 10 on our scale or medium firm. This firmness level works best for the average back and stomach sleeper, but we also want to see how well this bed responds to your movements using this lacrosse ball. So as I bounce it on the floor, you'll see it comes right back up to me. Now let's try this on the mattress surface. Now we are seeing some great bounce from the Dream Cloud as expected. So I would say if you're a combination sleeper, this is a good mattress for you. Now, if you take nothing else away from this video, know that your primary sleep position and body type are crucial when shopping for a mattress because the bed's gonna perform differently based on if you are a side, back, or stomach sleeper. So let's start with side sleepers. Side sleepers need a bed that keeps pressure off of the hips and the shoulders because they're jammed into the mattress, also something that keeps your spine in a straight line because it prevents back pain. Now, light and average weight side sleepers will see problems on the Dream Cloud because it doesn't really pressure well enough, but you will see good alignment. Now, heavyweight side sleepers will see great pressure relief on this mattress. Now, over to back sleepers. You need a mattress that maintains the natural S curve of your spine, and the Dream Cloud does that for all back sleepers of all sizes. Now, on to stomach sleepers. You just need a bed that's firm enough to keep the hips elevated and in line with the rest of your spine. Now, this bed is firm enough for light to average weight stomach sleepers. I would just say heavyweight stomach sleepers, it should also be fine, but I would say go with something firmer to make sure your hips stay elevated. If you sleep with a partner and their movements often wake you up, this is the test for you. We're looking for motion isolation, AKA a bed's ability to stop motion at the source, keep it on one side of the bed instead of transferring across the mattress and waking up your partner. So here's the test. I put a beaker of liquid on that side of the bed. The movement in that beaker will signify how much movement you feel as I disturb the bed on the other side. Now, as I press my hands into the mattress, mimicking the feel of tossing and turning, we're not seeing too much movement in that beaker, but we can test this further by dropping a weighted ball into the bed to simulate someone getting in and out. 
As I do this, there is not too much more movement here, which is really surprising because this is a hybrid bed. So if you sleep with a partner, this is a good option for you. Now it's time to test edge support. Now edge support is a level of support you get around the perimeter of your mattress. It's good for people with mobility issues who have trouble getting in and out of bed and use the edges to do so, people who like to sleep near the edge, as well as couples who want some space from each other. Now, the Dream Cloud here has really exceptional edge support. My feet aren't even touching the ground and I'm barely sinking down here and it's even more supportive when I lie along the edge. Let's talk money. How much does this mattress cost? Now we've tested and reviewed hundreds of mattresses, as I've said, and throughout that experience, we found that most queen size beds range between $500 to $3,500. Now the dream cloud for a queen size is right around $1,200, which is on the lower end of the spectrum. But if you want even more money off, we do have coupons that are linked in the description below to help you save some money. You're welcome. It's time to sum everything we just learned up with a pro-con list. I made a list of the three best and worst things about the Dream Cloud here. I like to start out with the bad news, so let's get into the cons. First up, side sleepers, the joint pain. This may not be the best mattress for you unless you are on the heavier side. It just doesn't really pressure well enough for this sleeping position. Now over to the next one, heavyweight stomach sleepers also may not find enough support and elevation on this mattress. So I would say go with something firmer. Now, lastly, this is a thick hotel quality like mattress. So if you're into something softer or like a memory foam bed, this isn't gonna be the option for you. Now let's get into the pros. First up, this is a pretty well-rounded bed. It is responsive, it isolates motion well, it works for most sleeping positions. So I would say that if you sleep with a partner who has different sleep preferences than you, this is a good option for you. Next up, back sleepers of all sizes should be really comfortable on the dream cloud. The foam really molds to your spine, but the coils will keep you supported. And lastly, if you have back pain, dream cloud is a great choice because it offers really good spinal alignment, which prevents back pain. Well, that's all I got for you. As much as I like to have a gotcha moment with the brand's claim, the Dream Cloud pretty much lived up to every single one of them. Now, do you agree? Disagree? Let me know in the comments below. And while you're at it, go ahead and give this video a like and subscribe to our channel. It always helps. And for more content like this, visit mattressnerd.com. Bye. That profile is so hard. Your feet are just... Wait till I talk about edge support. <laughs>